Hello everybody. Well, it's 2.15 in the morning. I am on my first day of vacation. And it's time to do a little unboxing. I purchased the IPV3 Li. Got it from Sweet Bakes. So this is the box it comes in. Nice little gift box. And that's what you're going to get in this particular box. I went with the black on mine. But you get the box. Get a little brochure and just the um, firmware cable. That cable is strictly for doing upgrades for your device. Uh, it's not for charging. Uh, been looking at this one for a little while. It's only been out on the market now probably for less than two weeks. Uh, but I've been kind of holding out for the Segeli 75 watt temp control device, but I've been weighing them both out, uh, and I don't even know when that one's going to hit the market yet, but um, I decided just to go ahead and bite down on this one. I wanted more than 75 watts. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, I'm not a person that vapes at real high wattages, um, but I think it's just kind of cool to have a device that, you know, We'll go, we'll go the higher wattages. Like I said, straight out of the box, it does 165 watts. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, so there are some upgrades to this device from the previous version, just the IPV3. Uh, the touch sensor actually works on this device. And the fire button is now, it, it, it's actually a button. It's not one of these little BBs. Uh, I have messed with another person's device that has the older version, and I myself, I really didn't care for that. But uh, I like this fire button a whole lot better. Uh, it's real clicky. Uh, so far, from what I've messed with it, everything feels pretty good. I think the biggest change that they've done to this that would attract people to this is that the older version had two screws on the back door and you would have to take those out every time you wanted to change your batteries out. Uh, what they've gone to now is a sliding door and it's and it's a pretty strong door. Huh. I've done this once for Ooh. We'll sit there and fight with y'all about it. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> that shows you how tight it's on there. At least it was doing pretty good. So, got my batteries in there already. Like I said, uh, when you buy a device like this, purchase brand new batteries marry those batteries to this device uh, and only use these two batteries with this device don't use these batteries on anything else and when you take them out to charge uh, try to keep it rotated so each time you do a charging and you're putting them back in you know go this battery here this battery there and just try to keep up with it and rotate them every time so you'll have equal discharge of the batteries you know while it's in use but real clean inside you know uh, that is spring loaded up here for your battery connections which is nice it's got a real long ribbon on it uh, which also makes it easy to take batteries in and out the back of the door itself has this it's almost like a some type of plastic film and from my understanding to that is 
um, they have it there so the batteries by no chance can touch the metal to short out or anything so pretty nice um, like I said just line that thing up in there and push and also at the top there's a little bumper a rubber bumper here but there's also this little spring-loaded ball bearing and that catches up here at the top that groove so I might have to mess around with that ribbon a little bit. It did good for me earlier. I did this once. There we go. So just push it up. Like I said, it, it's in there good. No shaking, nothing rattling in here. So uh, I definitely like that. Uh, so right now I've got my Freemax Star tank on here, of course. I, I run it on everything. So uh, it is in temp control right now. So I've got it set. It's on 50 joules, running at the max. The coil right now is rating a 0 0.16 at 3.74 volts. <clears throat> um, this thing has quite a few little features to it, uh, but if you want to see, let me show you the vape, and I'm going to do it off the touch sensor. So, thing you do is just place your finger over the top. And if you heard that, my finger just hit it again by accident, so... Real good vape off of it. Um, like I said, I've only been messing with it probably for less than an hour now, just trying to learn the ropes with it real fast. But uh, in temp control, runs perfect. Uh, another reason for purchasing this device, uh, I've got an evolved DNA chip, you know, on my Vapor Shark, so I, I wanted a Yee. Uh, chip those you know are the two top you know powerhouse out there it seems and I'd like to have one of both models so but man this thing like I said this is not a review this is just you know first impressions of it uh, I'm gonna of course keep using it and I'll let you know down the road how everything's going with it, but real nice vape off of it. I mean, just uh, uh, it, it, it's just great. So I don't know the screen's kind of hard to see there, but so let me show you a few things. So you've seen it now in temp control. I'm going to put, I'm going to do it in regular power mode. So when you go into power mode, you want to click your button five times. Oh, sorry about that. Let me put this tank on here. I'm going to put the OBS on. Now you want to click. So it's going to ask you, it's asking me to a jewel. I want to put it into power mode. Now I'm on power. And then when you put it into power mode, it's putting it on 60 watts. You want to click your up and down to change your resistance for your coil. 
so it, you want to click these buttons. Of course, it does it pretty quick. So now I'm in regular wattage mode. I'm at 60, and the coil is reading a 0.29 at 4.17 volts. So this is regular mode at 60 watts. Same great deal on it. Fires, you know. It, it There's no delay in it too, even when the screen goes to sleep, as soon as you hit the button. It, it feels like it's automatically hitting. I can't sense any hesitation, lag in it or anything. It's, it's immediately hitting, but. So, uh. That's at 60 watts, but it's a 22 millimeter tank. So tanks fit real good on there. Certain if you go any bigger, you're gonna have probably a little overlap off the sides, but it seems like most of your tanks nowadays are at least 22. Uh, I know if you get like the Atlantis uh, Mega or something like that, I think it's a 23 or bigger. So that one would hang, but so and let me throw on a throw an RDA on real fast. I got tanks laying all over the place here. So I'm gonna throw the Dark Horse Mini on. It does have a spring-loaded 510 in it, so everything I've thrown on it so far has fit, no problems. Set my resistance. So my build on here is reading at 0.47. And this one does have, and I'm getting used to this because this is my first Pioneer for You device that I've owned. I'm trying to get used to this. Uh, if you hit the up button, you know, it has the five preset uh, settings for your wattage on here. So, uh, what those are set at, I guess, are a little all over the place. But to run it, if you want to change it and then be able to go up and down with your wattage or joules, you just need to click your down button once and then you can go back and forth with it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this one off. Tell you what, I'm going to start at 40. I was messing with it a little while earlier. And just at 40 watts, I mean, this thing... This thing chunks some clouds. So I'm gonna get a little on there. And on this, I'm running the Z cakes. And for any of you people that live down south that love little Debbie's, this tastes just like zebra cakes. So here it is at 40 watts. Real good vape off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump this thing up to sixty. There's sixty watts. Oh, 
awesome. I just can't tell you how much I'm loving this so far. Real thick clouds off of it. Of course, got a lot to do with the RDA on there too, but uh, overall, just from messing with this for a little while, you know, I hadn't seen any little glitches, anything going on, which I don't suspect I will. I don't hope I will, but uh, I'm going to take this up to 80 and I'm not going to go any higher than 80 I just don't vape at these high wattages but just for sake of video and me just to do too hot too hot I guess y'all just seen what just happened there. That's like way too hot. I think I think I need to re-wick this. That was the cause of that. But yeah, this thing was great. Really loving it. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw a tank back on. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I did purchase this at Sweet Vapes. I uh, got it for 95 bucks. Been seeing them online now, going anywhere between, I think, $88 up to $109. So, Pretty standard on how it goes with vendors out there and the prices that they're charging. They're kind of a little all over the place. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it's definitely definitely pretty nice. Another thing that I've discovered about these and just watching a few of the videos, and there's only a few of them out there on this particular device. Um, there is a little plastic, well I shouldn't even say plastic, it's a little cellophane coating they put over the screen and the one over the back. Uh, if you're removing this front one uh, and you're starting to kind of dig at it, I've already seen in two videos where the screen pulls out with the cellophane. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, in both cases, they popped them back in and didn't seem to have any problems out of them. But uh, normally when I have this type of uh, cellophane over stuff and I can't see it really, which in this case right here, I can't even really tell it's on there. You can a little bit on the back one, but not so much the front at all. I normally leave mine on until, uh, you know, you use the device long enough in time. It's probably going to start peeling back already a little bit or something, and then I'll go ahead and deal with it then. But I feel if it comes at that point where this one needs to come off and the screen does pop, uh, my thinking is I'm probably getting maybe just the very smallest drop of like super glue or something and go both sides where you can barely tell and just easily plays it back in there and I don't want to ever have to worry about that but um, but right now that's just not an issue with me but uh, let me put this back in put it back in temp mode Three max back on it. So, so I go jewels. I 
also it goes from 100 to 300 in Celsius and in Fahrenheit I've got a little reading here for that I don't remember the exact on Fahrenheit uh, it's 212 degrees up to 572 degrees on Fahrenheit. Uh, I've been running mine at 450 degrees. This does have the Yehi SX330-V3 SL chip in it. So for all you little my little tech geeks out there that have to have all these numbers of course you can go to their site and read all that stuff I don't normally read all that junk off uh, so let me change still getting used to the buttons and operations been kind of spoiled on some of my other devices this one this one tends to there's a little bit of different buttons you're having to press here and there so I'm still getting kind of used to that so excuse me for all that but is on here I think that just pretty much covers it um, like I said also on this device uh, the few reviews I've seen out there uh, it's always kind of funny to see these um, most people reviewing these products must be very small very small hands because the thing just looks huge on screen but uh, when I got mine this thing it, it's small I mean it I got pretty big hands on I am a big guy but it's just not that big compared to a you know vapor shark you know if anybody knows the size of a vapor shark you can kind of estimate and really this is a whole lot lighter than the vapor shark to me Okay, so here we are. Just a, a, a whole great experience with it so far. And like I said, this is not a review, just first impression, but... Um, Yeah, so really, really liking this one. I think what I'm going to do, I'd like to get a few more RDAs maybe. Uh, the only other tank out there that I'm wanting so far is the new Freemax Star when it hits. And I still don't have a date when those are going to hit the shelf. But that's supposed to be a... Uh, uh, TCT temperature control tank which it's not so much the tank as being temperature controlled it's just more or less the the coils are making for it uh, I do know it's going to be a top fill tank <clears throat> and that in itself is not always you know the thing that sells me to them but because even having this OBS tank uh, as I've stated before I mean just because you have a top fill tank it doesn't mean it's it, it is a little easier but it's definitely not a deal breaker or anything like that but i see a lot more of these companies going to them now but uh i've actually ran about three or four tanks just in the small time i've been playing with this everything's fit on there good there's which i know it might be hard to see but there's no gaps 
it fits flush on there. And the Freemax is a fairly good size tank and you see it fits on there great, so. But yeah, like I said, I don't really, I, I'm not even gonna fool with the upgrade right now. Uh, I don't need 200 watts. Uh, I'll never get there. I, I'll never get to 150, I don't think. Uh, I would be real damn lucky if I hit 100 on it. And if I do, that's just gonna be kind of messing with it. And that would be more or less maybe like off the, uh, I don't think I have but one tank and that's this one and, and I really have to have uh, the coils, their coils to do it to get up to that range and it, it's just not an enjoyable vape to me, it, it's too hot, it's, you know, it just, there, there's, what I'm doing right here is perfect so, um, And like I said, the jewels will go up to 100 opposed to the 50 that's on it now uh, with the upgrade. And I mean, what I'm doing right here is perfect. I, I don't see me having to go over 50, so. But if I get bored and decide to do it, I'll do it. And like I said, it's also, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the titanium coils and all that. Uh, I still think that's too new in the game. At least it's too new for me to know about it. Uh, I don't think I've even hit anything that was titanium, so I really don't know the flavor that comes off of that, if it's better, what the deal is with it. I just, I don't know, I'm not educated on that, but uh, so for what I do, this device is perfect just the way it is right now, so, but, yeah, so there's a little first look for y'all. Of course, I'm going to keep y'all updated on it. Like I said, you got the option in there to turn the touch control off if you want. I think I'm going to leave mine on. It'll be just a novelty thing to mess with, even though I'm probably used to hitting this fire button more, but... It's got good venting at the bottom for your batteries. And of course there's your little plug-in to do your upgrades. But so far so good. So there it is everybody. Well, I just would like to thank all my subscribers out there. Uh, would love to see that number keep going up. Uh, y'all have any comments questions that you know I can answer hit me up uh, if you like this hit the like button and y'all have a good day well or actually have a good morning we'll be talking at you soon